people in our society needed to be protected. But when in the witness box, oh, sorry. when in the witness box, Joan refused to accept that these communities and other marginalised communities were devastated. Her response was, Tala was getting back to work. Secondly, she continued with was, I was perceived as protecting the people. She refused to accept that the majority of the people in this country were angry at her or the Labour Party for the attacks on the poor while protecting the wealthy. What took Joan a while to comprehend in the witness box was that she couldn't make political speeches. She wasn't in the doll. In the court, she had to answer the questions that she was asked, and this happened on a continual basis. Now, while the seriousness of the charges of all the defendants are facing is no laughing matter, it's very difficult at times to take Miss Burton seriously in the courtroom. But then when it came to the actual day of the events, back in November in 2014, Joan tried to paint a picture of an unorganised mob hell-bent on attacking her. She was emphatic that all she could hear was foul language, unsupervised children and intimidating men. But as the defence continued, a very different picture emerged. A picture of a community angry at being used to pay bankers' debts. A community fighting to survive and that was had enough and were unwilling to pay any more for the crisis. Joan then claimed that she was in fear, intimidated, scared of what would happen next. Video evidence completely contradicted this. We heard Joan laughing in the back of the car. We heard Joan mocking the people of Jobstown. We heard her relaxed. This was great. Joan Burton was lying on the stand. But what really stands out to me was one of the last things that she was saying on her first day. She said she was moving from the second car to the third car. She was tired. She was hungry, she was stiff, she was sore, and she was intimidated. And she had to run up a hill, and she felt like she was running for her life. And, and so when the video evidence did emerge, it showed Joan getting out of the car, Joan walking up the hill, Joan surrounded by police, not surrounded by protesters, and all the police in the vicinity. So Joan's lies have been disproven, have been unproven time and time again. So also what I would like to raise is the Ireland's media. The nation's media has got two roles in that courtroom. They're reporting one side of this story. They're reporting her side. They're not reporting what happened here on the actual day. The Irish people have a right to fair and a balanced media to know exactly what's going on in our courtroom and that is in our constitution. But folks, we can't be surprised. The people, the length and breadth of this country got organised, they rose up and they said we've had enough. We're not taking it anymore. And the establishment had to attack back. And as we all know, the mainstream media is part of that establishment. So what I'm saying to you today is we need to get the word out of what is actually happening in that courtroom. They are not saying that Joan Burton's evidence has been contradicted. They are not saying that the people of Jobstown are not the dregs. They're saying that they, they're not telling the true story of what happened here on that day. So what I'm going to say to you, it is essential, not just for the people who are taking this case, but for future struggles, that we stay organised and we keep fighting and we keep pushing them back. Thanks very much, folks, for your time. Thank you.